Good morning, friends, family, and folks. All you folks out there that have taken time to uh, to tune in. Um, today, I, I, I just feel very inspired uh, by this thought. And this thought is the placebo. And the story of the placebo is as interesting as the placebo effect itself. Because none of us expect the placebo effect. That's the whole point of why a placebo works. And it's also the whole point about why it doesn't work. And in that, let me share the story. So first of all, um, it was only discovered in World War II. Most of us maybe know that, but here's what you might not want, n might not know, because I only found out recently. So what happens in World War II is, unfortunately, people with uh, appendages that have been blown off and are about to go into shock and we need morphine to get them out of pain so that they don't go into shock, if nothing else, if not for empathy of the pain. But as war times are, guess what? Run out of morphine. And so the doctor who is on the field, who is running from, uh, you know, casualty to casualty, working at not letting his hope be the next casualty, has a woman and a nurse and someone behind the scenes. And this woman, nurse, and someone pushing, pushing this leader forward, because we all have the push of the wind behind us, pushing us further, forward, whatever and whoever that is. And I'd like to lift this woman because what she did was fill a, syrin a syringe with saline solution, told the doctor it was morphine, said, here, give him some morphine. Doctor says to the casualty, okay, here's a shot of morphine. This pain will be gone in five minutes. Goes on to the next casualty. The reason it partly worked is that the doctor didn't know. So that's called a double blind study. If you don't know, what is it that you're able to do? And so I would like to do a couple things. We need to start lifting what that is that pushes us forward because it is so darn important and it often doesn't get significance and, um, and recognition. And so not only as a woman walking on this planet where women are the most racialized group amongst every culture there are on the planet on top of the racism that we put on all kinds of things, color of skin being number one. Um, not only do I think that needs to be lifted, because that's great in this particular scenario, but your win might be the love that you were given by your mother when you were six years old. Your win might be that someone introduced you to spirituality before the age of seven. Your win might be that you lost your mom to cancer and now you're going to fight and learn and teach and do whatever you can. So whatever that wind is, let us take a moment and, and support that wind. Give that wind some significance and some credence because without it, guess what? We wouldn't have the placebo effect. Now, the placebo effect is the second story. Tune in this afternoon or tomorrow or three days from now when we can talk more about the placebo because I think if we can harness the magic of what we learned that day on the field, I think uh, we can do a lot of really neat things with ourselves and with others, with uh, society, with our local communities, with our countries, with our borders that cause so much division, with our world, and with our planet. And uh, God knows we need help right now on all those levels. But like John Lennon says, it starts within. Peace has got to be in within us if we want it to be outside of us. So uh, it all starts at the grassroots. We're the ones who choose the leaders. We're the force behind everything. So let's really put our egos aside. Let's put our divisions aside. Let's put aside the fact that we think placebably that we might be right and actually look at what the situation is. Anyway, so much more to talk about with that. I hope you stay with me because I think we should make a series out of it. Good morning. Blessed be. Enjoy this day and know that there's a force behind you. And whatever that force is, let's recognize it, hold it, and lift it for today.